Yeah, let me introduce myself. My name is Kay Kwok. I'm graduating from Polytechnic University in 2009. And after two years, I went to London for studying my men's wear MA course. Um, I'm so lucky one year later, on uh, 2013, I got a chance. Um, I got a sponsorship from GQ China to sponsor me for a show in London Fashion Week. So I launched the brand there. Actually, uh, I've been in this fashion field for eight years. Um, I experienced a lot. Um, this is my previous work that I've done before. Fashion design for me uh, is a fashion journey for me to experience the complexity and simplicity, um, which means minimal design and a delicate design. And I've chosen two outfits uh, which really could represent my design philosophy in certain time. So please welcome our model. So uh, here are two dresses that I've done in different times. The left one uh, is done on 2011, and the right one is done on 2009. Uh, you can see the works I've done in 2009, it's uh, competitively creative, edgy, because um, that is done when I was studying. And at the time, I just want to challenge the border of complexity and how I use embroidery and the beading and the position, the alignment, the proportions, something like that. And for the swastiki one, I've done on uh, 2011. Uh, I think at that time, um, my design ability is a little bit comparatively mature, because I consider the cutting of the silhouette and the position of the beading to enhance the body of the female, and how to show effectively about the female figure. So you can see the difference between 2009 and 2011. Um, this is the work that I've done in Alexander McQueen when I was studying in London, because I've been interned there for a few months. I work in the embroidery department, so uh, at that time I really can see a lot. I, I see the samples for Lady Gaga and also other amazing works. I think Alexander McQueen is the brand that has great balance on complexity and com uh, simplicity. So you can see their design. They have a very traditional craftsmanship and also the innovative technique. So um, yeah, I really like this brand. <laughs> and it influenced me a lot. Um, here you can see the works I've done in 2009 and 2012. 2009's work is uh, the work I've done for my BA show, and the other ones I've done in MA show. Um, I will talk more about inspiration after the mini catwalk.
Thank you, models. Thank you. So, um, in 2012, I think um, when I was studying LCF, it was my turning point of my design philosophy. I tried to simplify the aesthetic that I cultivated before. As you have seen before, the two dresses, which was so delicate, so com uh, complicated. Um, I tried so hard to simplify my design with new perspective of research, new direction of design, and also color experiments. Um, but actually, the inspiration is about ancient Egyptian culture. We were, the topic, I mean, is adapted by so many designers. You can see Christian Dior, 2004, Gucci, 2011, and Top Shop Unique, 2012. So at that time when I have the topic, I asked myself how to do it in different way, how to do it in a unique way. I think it's so important for a designer because I think as a designer, you have to, you have, to have your own aesthetic. The key is to do a deep research. So after I, I, I've done the research, I read a lot of books and I find that there's one area that I'm really interested in, is their con constellation system. And I try to develop, and this is the pattern cutting that I developed for the collection. But finally, I just focus on the printing, because I, I think the collection should be consistent and um, I cannot handle two different areas in my collection. So I just choose one area to focus. And then I, I, I realize that um, design is actually a process to give us some less important idea. I try to visualize one idea or a small things, more detail, effectively. So as you can see that I use lots of digital printing and uh, I find that it's really interesting for me to explore and I'd like to explore more with you guys. Um, there are two questions for you guys. If you were to use digital printing, what would you like to print? Maybe you think that you print some image like apple, whatever, like scenery, something like that. What, what would you, how would you manipulate sublimation printing? For me, when I just start to use this technique, uh, I would say that I would just print a square, and I need one more element, it's water. Because uh, why I start to use the technique I like to explore more, not only what image I can print on the fabric and what other elements. I would really do research about the characteristic of a technique. Um, I know that um, digital printing, the ink in digital printing is water soluble, so I try to design in that area by using water. So I just, as you can see in the screen, when I spray the water on it, it's water soluble. The ink will come down, and it forms a natural design of it. Yes. So because of the time limitation, I I've already prepared the finished one. And then you can create the direction, the water ones. And after you dry, and you can, it's ready for print. First of all, we have uh, our fabric ready. Place, it, place on top of the machine. And then, uh, put the paper on the fabric. And press it. So um, 
Actually, the machine is small. They have a bigger industrial machine. Um, it takes around 50 seconds and uh, with the temperature 200 degrees. Why I demonstrate digital printing is not only to demonstrate you the visual of the fabric and how I use uh, digital printing. More importantly, is the way to really understand the object, the media, the technique that you're using or design. This is so important. Okay, it's done. <laughs> like a cooking class, you know. <laughs> so, at the end, you can see that you can always design something interesting by using the new perspective of understanding of an object or a technique. Thank you. Okay, so we have some time for the floor. Uh, it can watch. It can be watched uh, around a million times. <laughs> yeah, because um, there is one one thing we have one fabric that we have to use under the sublimation printing is polyester fabric. Yeah, because um, polyester can lock the ink and it will not be washed away. Yeah, so that's the technique. Yeah, criteria of digital printing. Uh, I'm gonna show my next Fall Winter collection on London Fashion Week. So uh, I'm now preparing my next collection, but uh, honestly, I don't have anything now. But I'm talking the show is on January. <laughs> so <laughs> I have to prepare like 25 outfits for it. But yeah, I, I try my best. <laughs> uh, hello, I want to ask uh, how do you go from like a, a startup emerging designer into someone who's um, like a f future aspiration would be go really commercial, have a big brand, sell all the over the world. So where does that uh, crossover begin when you move from small to global and how do, how do you plan to go that route, if ever? I think um, there's one work, uh, not to compromise. Yeah, because um, I know that uh, some of the students in Hong Kong, they may be scared by the environment in Hong Kong, like the, the flat is so expensive and apartment is expensive and they all fear about the environment and think that after graduate, I have to earn many money, so much money for living. But actually, I think the most important point for a youngster is to pursue their dream, what you like to do, and it just keep going and be insistent on it. Um, at the same time, you have to have a good plan, maybe like me, when I was uh, graduating from Pontiac University in 2009, I, I started thinking about uh, what I like to do. I realized that I don't really like to work in uh, some big company in Hong Kong because the environment for me is horrible because they always work overtime like from 9 to 2 a.m. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a bit of working so hard, but um, I just want to work for myself. So, yeah, I just be brave and set up my own brand and try to plan what can I do? What if I go to London for studying? Um, do I really have to go into the final collection show? And once I get into the show, how can I catch attention? Yeah. So, um, very luckily, uh, after one year of my graduation show in London, um, GQ China spots me and sponsored me for a show in London Fashion Week. So that's how I start. Yeah. Okay, that's all the time we have today. Thank you, Mr. Kwok. Thank you. It's really like to have you here. We wish you all the best. Thank you.